The following is a presentation of the Rowan Television Network. Cardi lining up in the shotgun. Pumps. Throws now to Frankie Gores in the slot. Gores to the 30-yard line. Props game five. McCarty back to pass, evading pressure, rolling out, throws downfield. What a catch! Oh, knocked away. Hard count, McCarty throws out to the flat, it's intercepted. It's picked off by Amir Sorrell. You know, McCarty takes the hard count. He looks, he doesn't necessarily get tough pressure until he gets to the middle, but he just missed Warren Oliver's hands on that one. Overthrew the receiver. Turnovers like that will just kill you. He's kind of been accused of being kind of one dimensional with their offense. You know, Cuve Lafayette is a very good receiver, and right there you see Anthony Davis. A 20 yard gain to Anthony Davis brings them past midfield. Side as fast as possible. This whole offense is stacked with speed along with its defense. Flying over the middle, pass to the fullback, Robert Getz, and he is in for a touchdown. The Widener Pride strike first. You know, last season they didn't throw the ball as much as they did in the first half of this, uh, the first quarter of this game. Deep pass there to Anthony Davis, and what a record receiving reception this will be. A big reception brings them all the way down to the 10 yard line, and Anthony Davis's name will be officially etched in the history of Widener Pride record books. He is the all time receiving receptions leader for the Widener Pride, and a big reception at that. Speaks to the, the, run, the running back combination of Cuvee Lafayette and Terrence Morris and Klein rolling out, thrown to the back of the end zone. No one's home, a catch there for the Widener Pride. Klein's ability to just get out of the pocket on this play action. His line does a great job of defending him. He leads the tight end over the side. Great, great way to find a hole in that little zone back there. The kind of the logistics of this loss. The kick is up and it is blocked. And you know, the screen game's not working, the short pass game isn't working, the runs aren't working. What is this prop team gonna do now? Interesting call to do a short pass on a third and long. Dietrichson though, punts this one. On a bounce, it hits off a prof and will go to Rashawn Sorrell, who's going to get a very good return out of this, and some more. He brings it all the way back from the spot of the punt. Shaky special teams there, snapping it from the 30-yard line. He brings it all the way back. Great blocking. Just look at the blocks downfield. So many white shirts downfield. They're going to lose like they did to Delval last year but it's not looking in the prof's favor so far. McCarty across the middle, another interception. Three interceptions for Billy McCarty and the Widener Pride. We'll start at the 40 yard line after a turn. If you're gonna look on this replay, watch McCarty, McCarty is panicking. He doesn't know where to go, he just throws it. Yeah, there's clean coverage over the top. He's sitting comfortably in his zone coverage with the safety on top, but yet he still takes the chance and he still throws it. It's Morris. Line, back to pass, pocket crumbling, he'll roll out, he will fire to the sidelines, all by himself is the receiver. The Widener Pride once again get a big play off of blown coverage by the Rowan Profs all the way down to the 25 yard line. Right now, well you can hear it, stomping their feet, clapping their hands, here we go, back to pass, the ball tipped up the line of scrimmage, and caught in the end zone, Warren Oliver! The Profs get a touchdown! Unbelievable! That touchdown symbolizes so much. You're going to see here, McCarty's going to be back. His pass is going to be tipped. Oh no, it's lofted. It's not even tipped. McCarty's able to get it in there, and Warren Oliver's able to pull the stop while the defense just keeps running past the receiver to give, leave him wide open. That touchdown symbolizes so much. The relentless fighting of the props. Six in the box, they'll rush all six, throw. He's intercepted! Intercepted on the line, and it'll go for a touchdown. And that will do it. Six interceptions, and finally, the interception for a touchdown. Safety Sean Titus picks it off for Widener. Sean Titus was sitting at the line there. You thought he was coming in for the blitz on this replay, but he really is, and he's coming around on the right side to pick it off. That will do it. Three minutes left, but there is no way the profs, with their offensive struggles, will be able to make up. 
a 13-point deficit. The Rowan Profs do not begin the 2014 season positively as they will lose at home to the Widener Pride 19-7. A rough way to begin a title defense, but nonetheless, they are used they are used to adversity. They are used to starting the season with a loss. They didn't last year. They lost to a Mid-Atlantic Conference team in Delval. They were able to bounce back, go 9-2, and two, make the NCAAs. We'll see if that's the case here coming up in the next couple of games. This has been a presentation of the Rowan Television Network.